to find the area of a triangle you need the base and the height of the triangle but what if we are just given the three sides of a triangle and no height well thanks to the heron's formula we can now find the area of a triangle given the length of its three sides and if you want to learn all about it this is the video for you we are going to discuss some real life applications also and also do not forget to stick around to the end of the video to answer the simple quiz question so come on let's nail it We know that if we have a rectangle whose length is L and whose breadth is B, we can find its area by just multiplying the two, so it's L into B. We know that the area of a square with side S should be just S square. And we know that the area of a triangle, we need two things for that. One is the base and all you have to do is you have to drop a perpendicular from one of its vertices to the opposite side. And then you can find the area of a triangle by just using the formula half into base into height. But what if we have a quadrilateral like this, a four-sided figure, which is neither a rectangle nor a square nor a trapezium or a parallelogram or a rhombus? How do we find the area of such a quadrilateral? Well, we can do that if we divide this quadrilateral into two triangles. So if we just draw a diagonal, it, the quadrilateral is now divided into two triangles and we can just find the area of these two triangles by dropping the perpendiculars, obviously, so that you have the green line as the base and the pink lines as the perpendiculars and then you can use the formula of the area of a triangle and find it but in a quadrilateral in which you are just given the side lengths you don't know the length of the diagonal how do you find that how do you find the length of the perpendiculars and if we can't do that how can we find the area those are the complications that we see in our life every day when we come across lots of land or some quadrilaterals of which only the side lengths are known and we need to find the area. And thanks to Heron, he developed a formula for finding the area of such a triangle in which the three sides are given. So let's take a triangle, let's name it ABC and according to the normal convention, let's take the length of the side opposite the vertex A as small a, opposite the vertex B as small b and opposite the vertex C as small c. So now you know that the perimeter of this triangle is the sum of the three sides which is A plus B plus C and there is a thing known as a semi-perimeter also which is the half of this. So semi-perimeter is just A plus B plus C all divided by 2 and it is generally denoted by the letter S. So Heron who was from Alexandria in the year 60 CE he developed a formula for finding the area of such a triangle in which we don't know anything except the length of the three sides. Obviously, he also went by the same method that the area of a triangle is half into base into height, but he needed the height for that. So he dropped a perpendicular from one of the vertices and let's call that height as H. Now this perpendicular you see, it divides side BC into two parts. Let those two parts be x and since the whole length is a, the other part will be a minus x. And now using the Pythagoras theorem, if we look at the triangle on the left side, we can say that c is the hypotenuse. So c square should be equal to h square plus x square. Or if we want to find the value of h, we can say h square is equal to c square minus x square or h would be the square root of c square minus x square. And similarly using the other triangle, he found the value of h in terms of a and b also. And when he equated the two, he was able to find the value of x and substituting that back in through the formula above, he found the value of h in terms of a, b and c. And then he just used the formula half into base into height and thus he came upon a formula which is now known as the Heron's formula and he said that the area of a triangle given its three side lengths would be equal to the square root of s times the difference between s and a times the difference between s and b times the difference between s and c. So square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. That is what is commonly known as the Heron's formula. And like I said, S here stands for the semi-perimeter or it's the perimeter divided by 2 which is nothing but A plus B plus C divided by 2. And this is what I generally keep doing on my channel. So if you haven't been to my channel yet or if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, this is the right time to do so. Just click on the subscribe button below the video and do not forget to... 
click on the bell notification too so that you do not miss out on any future video. Now how about some real life example of Heron's formula. Here we have a question that the dimensions of a four sided plot of land that you own are 13 meters, 14 meters, 28 meters and 41 meters respectively. The length of one of its diagonals is 15 meters. And if you want to sell the land at the rate of $100 per square meter, how much money would you expect to get for selling the full piece of land? Well, so first of all, let's try and draw a figure and try and understand what the figure actually looks like. So I'm not drawing it to scale, but let's assume that it's a quadrilateral like this, where uh, we have this side equal to 13 meters. This is 14 meters. This is 28 meters and this is 41 meters. Obviously, this is not to scale and if we draw a diagonal, it would be something like this. But since the diagonal is only 15 meters, this should not be the diagonal. We should have smaller diagonal looking at the diagram and looking at the proportion. So if we take the other diagonal, that should be 15 meters. Now we have divided this quadrilateral piece of land into two triangles. So let's take the triangle on top as triangle one and the triangle at the bottom as triangle two and apply the Heron's formula. So and for that we need the semi perimeter. So the per semi perimeter of triangle one would be the sum of the three sides divided by two that is 13 plus 14 plus 15 all divided by two which is nothing but 42 divided by two which should be equal to 21. And similarly, the semi perimeter of the other triangle S2 should be equal to 15 plus 28 plus 41 divided by 2, which is nothing but 84 divided by 2 or 42. Now, once we have the semi perimeter, we can just apply the Heron's formula, which is S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. We can apply that formula to both the triangles, find their areas, and then solve our problem. So, to find the area of triangle 1, Let's substitute the values in the formula above. So S is 21. So the three sides are 13, 14 and 15. So 21 minus 13, 21 minus 14, 21 minus 15. And simplifying it, we get 21 times 8 times 7 times 6. And then since we have to find the square root, I generally like to divide them into prime factors. So 21 can be written as 3 times 7 and 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 and 7 will come as it is as it is a prime number already and 6 can be written as 2 times 3 and then I take pairs of numbers and remove the square root so there are 2, two times 3 so I write 3 2 times 7 I write 1 7 2 times 2 I write 1 2 then again 2 times 2 and I write 1 2 that should be the area of this triangle so 3 times 7 is 21 times 2 is 42 and times 2 is 84. So the area of the triangle on top should be 84 square meters. Now similarly applying the Heron's formula to the triangle at the bottom which is the triangle number 2. Let's substitute the values in that too. So the semi perimeter is 42 and the side lengths are 15, 28 and 41. So we get 42 times 42 minus 15 times 42 minus 28 times 42 minus 41. And simplifying it, we get the square root of 42 times 27 times 14 times 1. And again, break them into prime factors. So 42 can be written as 2 times 3 times 7. 27 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3. 14 can be written as 2 times 7. And 1 can be written just like that. Again, taking pair of numbers, I remove the square root. 2 2s make it 1 2, 2 3s make it 1 3, 2 3s again make it 1 3 and 2 7 makes it 1 7 and we have got the square root of 1 which is again 1. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6 3 times 3 is 18, 18 times 7 is 126 to the area of the smaller triangle of sorry of the larger triangle or the triangle at the bottom should be 126 square meters. So the full area of the quadrilateral or the four sided piece of land that you own should be the sum of the two, which is 84 plus 126, which is nothing but 210 square meters. And if you want to sell it at the rate of $100 per square meter, the total amount that you would expect to get out of selling it would be 210 times 100, which is nothing but $21,000. Well, you've become quite rich, haven't you? And from today, I'm going to start a special feature for you where 
this is a contest for you so you have to i'm giving you a question you have to apply the hiran's formula to this work it out in your notebook send me a picture of the video and if you send your name along with it your name will figure in the next video that will come out on my channel so the question that we have today for you is this now the sides of a scalene triangle are 17 centimeters 10 centimeters and 9 centimeters respectively you have to find the height of the triangle if it stands on a base of 9 centimeters so as i said i'm not going to solve the question for you you have to do this yourself but i'll give you a hint on how to do it so you know the length of the three sides which are 17 10 and 9 apply the heron's formula find the area of a triangle and once you found the area of the triangle you know that area is also equal to half times the base times the height equate the area that you found out to that formula substitute the value of the base and find the value of the height so to get a shout out or to get a, your name in the next video of mine so first of all what you have to do is you have to like the video then you have to work this question out in your notebook send me the solution along with your working send it on the email address given here and if you are one of the top three entries that i get or the first three entries that i get your name will figure out in the next video so do not forget to send in your full name also and the last feature for today is our quiz we know that according to the heron's formula the area of a triangle is the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c now the quiz question is what does s stand for and how is it calculated leave your answers in the comment section below i shall be waiting for them and in this video since we have discussed about finding the area of a triangle given its three sides in the next video we are going to learn about finding the area of other shapes so if you really like the video all you have to do is just click on the this picture of mine so that you get subscribed to the channel click on these videos appearing on the screen and as for the heron's formula is concerned you have nailed it god bless you take care